Hey everybody, it's another Wednesday night in quarantine and it's good to talk to you again. Tonight, I'm thinking about this whole pandemic and all of the opinions and the theories that are circulating. It's kind of hard to know what to believe these days. You know, this is true not just about this pandemic, but it's true about our religion and our faith in our lives every day. So tonight we want to talk to you about faith. But first, we have a video within a video, so enjoy. In these certain times, in these certain times, in these certain times, one thing that's for certain is our level of certainty. You don't have to wonder what's going on. There are answers. All you need is a favorite podcast or an acquaintance that works at a hospital. In just two months, we have managed to collectively come together and all become experts, experts, experts on pandemic related topics. Just call up a relative, ask a neighbor. They will know for certain whether or not COVID-19 was manufactured in a lab or if the United States is just interested in making money off of vaccinations. Sure, a doctor who's studied infectious disease for 45 years might have one thing to say, but you read a blog post written by your friend's former classmate and you skimmed the first couple paragraphs of an Atlantic article that you would have kept reading had you not scrolled down and seen how long it was. Who's to say who's right? We are. We are. We, we are. are. In these certain times, if something labeled a documentary shows up on your Facebook feed, you can be 100% certain it is certainly true. It's a documentary after all. They wouldn't call it a documentary if it wasn't true. In no uncertain terms, there are good guys and there are bad guys. The good guys are the ones you agree with, obviously. And the bad guys, they're the ones who are biased, unobjective, agenda-driven. They watch the other channel. Certainty and correctness go hand in hand. The more certain you feel, the more correct you are. Certainly this isn't something that the entire world is uncertain about. I can say for certain that who you voted for in the 2016 presidential election determines what you think about this pandemic and what's really going on. In these certain times. You can be certain. I can be certain. We can be certain. Don't let anyone take away your certainty. Your certain beliefs are the right ones. And there's a study that confirms it. We're all in this apart. We're all in this apart. You may feel uncertain right now, and if you do, you are certainly not alone. I said certainly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't have to be certain about everything to have faith in God. The best definition we have for faith comes from Hebrews chapter 11, verse one, that says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. When you buy a house, you go to a bank and you sign a bunch of papers and you walk away with two things. You've got a deed that says this house belongs to you, your name's on it, and you have a key to the house. But you know, when you walk out of the bank, it still doesn't feel real. It's still a little uncertain, like, does this house really belong to me? Until you get there and you put the key in the door and you open it and you walk inside, that's when it becomes certain, that's when it becomes real. If I had a coupon for a free Chick-fil-A sandwich, are you hungry? Because I have this coupon, I know that there's a delicious golden patty that's fried just for me. I have an assurance that there is a chicken sandwich with my name on it. And I have a conviction that I'm gonna take this to Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna claim what belongs to me. That's kind of what our faith is like in God. Right now, I can't smell this chicken sandwich. I can't taste this chicken sandwich. So there's a, there's a level of uncertainty here, but I have an assurance that that chicken sandwich belongs to me. In Corinthians 13, 12, it says, now I see dimly as in a mirror, but then I shall see face to face. We can't fully see the kingdom of God with our earthly eyes. We can't fully understand everything about God. We cannot be certain about everything that we believe in. But faith is our assurance that when we arrive, when we get face to face with God, we're going to have everything that He has promised us. So now in this life, we walk by faith and not by sight. And our faith is founded in God's Word, the Bible. We know the Bible is true. 
In 2 Timothy 3, verses 16 and 17, it says, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. The word inspired there, or breathed out, sometimes is questioned by people. Well, if it's just inspired, how do you know it's true? And I found a really great explanation that I enjoyed from Ken Ham, that the Holy Spirit moved men to write. He allowed them to use their own styles, cultures, gifts, and character. He allowed them to use the results of their own study and research, write of their own experiences, and express what was in their mind. At the same time, the Holy Spirit did not allow error to influence their writings. He overruled in the expression of thought and in the choice of words, and thus they recorded accurately all God wanted them to say and exactly how God wanted them to say it. They were able to use their own style, but all that went into the Bible is what God wanted to go into the Bible so that we know that it is absolutely true and it is from God. On the internet, we never know for sure what's true, right? There's that old saying, if it's on the internet, it must be true. And we do laugh at that a little bit. Um, but I feel like we also got to get, we get sucked in a little bit. Like maybe if I read it there, that is true. If you want truth, you've got to go straight back to God's word. That's the only thing that is absolutely true. I'm so glad we can trust in the word of God and have the assurance and the faith to believe that it is true. You know what I'm certain of right now is I would love to have a chicken sandwich and I just can't wait. So if this is a free chicken sandwich, maybe I should try it. Think I should try it? Wonder if it tastes like a chicken sandwich. It needs some Polynesian sauce. No, I don't know.